In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you join the various guilds in Oblivion. I know, old game, but I'm playing it recently, so there must be other people out there who this will be useful to. We're gonna cover how to join the Fighters Guild, the Thieves Guild, and the Mages Guild, as well as the Dark Brotherhood and the Arena. Let's start with the three easy ones, so the Fighters Guild, the Mages Guild, and the Arena. The reason they're easy is because they're basically just conversations that need to happen in certain places. For the Fighters Guild, you can join in one of three cities, and these are Anvil, Chainhull, or Coral. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we're going to pick Anvil for the purposes of this video. So, portal over to the gate at Anvil, you can see here on the map, you need to head over to this building that's going to be pretty obvious because it has red banners on it that have a little sword, and then this is the logo of the Fighters Guild. Then you simply need to walk in and ask a guy called Azan to join. Job done. The only thing that's going to stop you joining it is if you have infamy of 100 or more. So if you're planning on being a naughty character, then probably join the Fighters Guild early in the game rather than later on. And then once you've joined, you can pretty much immediately just start doing quests. We can then repeat the same thing for the Mages Guild. You literally go next door. Though again, you can join the Mages Guild in any city that has one, I believe. And I believe pretty much every city has a Mages Guild apart from the Imperial City and Kavach. Again, you'll see banners on the building that represent the Mages Guild. And again, you just walk in and speak to someone and you can join. The only thing that will stop you joining in this circumstance is if you have a bounty on you, basically a criminal record. So if you do have a bounty, you need to clear it before you can join the Mages Guild. And much the same as the Fighters Guild, as soon as you've done this, you can start doing the Mages Guild campaign and do the various quests. For the arena, it's similar again, basically just a single conversation. You just need to go to the arena district of the Imperial City, which you can see here on the map. You speak to a guy called Owen, who's the blade master in the Bloodworks. He'll make fun of you a bit and say that you're probably gonna not survive the arena, but he will eventually, at the end of the conversation, give you some light or heavy armor and allow you to compete in your first fight. Bear in mind, fights run from 9 a.m. till I think 9 p.m., so you need to be there during the day to fight, essentially. And that's it, you're then in the arena and you can start climbing through the ranks by defeating different opponents. Then it gets a bit more interesting when we get to the Thieves Guild. There are actually a few different ways to join, or at least to trigger the quest that allows you to join. One of the ways is you could simply just steal something and allow the guards to catch you, and then when they do, opt to be sent to prison. Following this, you'll be approached by a representative of the Thieves Guild, who will in turn ask you to attend a secret meeting at the Garden of Derelof. I personally wouldn't recommend doing it this way, as there are certain penalties for going to prison. A much easier way, I think, is just to go over to the Imperial City waterfront, you see here on the map. Then, when you arrive, you need to read one of the posters on the wall that talk about the Grey Fox. These are actually all over the place, you don't have to read it here, but if you haven't read one already, this is a, as good a place as any to read one. Once you've read the poster, you're going to trigger that same event where you need to meet in the Garden of Derelof, the one that I mentioned just previously. So to do that, you need to head over to the garden, you can see it here on the map. Then you need to wait until midnight for three NPCs to arrive. The important one of these NPCs is a guy called Armand Christophe. The first thing you're going to need to do is raise his disposition to 50 by using the little persuasion wheel thing. And once you do that, he's going to actually allow you to get the quest to join the Thieves Guild. He challenges you to steal a diary from a home in the Temple District. I think it's the Temple District. I'll show it on the map anyway. And you have to compete against the other thieves who are trying to join. To complete the quest, you're going to either have to beat Mephrodel to steal in the diary, or if she beats you to steal in it, then you're going to have to in turn steal it from her. I just recommend getting there before she does, which is pretty easy to do. The first thing you need to do is run over and speak to this beggar and give him five coins. Once you do, he's going to give you the location of the diary, or the location of the house at least. Then run over to the house, pick the lock, and go straight into this cupboard and grab the diary. You shouldn't really have any problem beating Mephrodel because she's actually going to mess around for a while before she goes and grabs the diary, and you should have it by then. Once you've done this, you just need to return to the garden. He should still be there if you've been fast enough, otherwise you'll have to wait again till midnight. And as your reward, you're going to be inducted as a member of the Thieves Guild. You're then going to need to steal goods and sell them to a fence in order to unlock quests. And the first quest is unlocked by selling 50 golds worth of stolen items to Ongar in Bruma. The final one is the Dark Brotherhood, and this probably has the coolest starting quest. And you might even just stumble upon it, if you're a murderer that is. Basically, you need to kill an innocent in cold blood in order to get the attention of the Dark Brotherhood. Now I'd recommend killing an NPC with no significance for other quests, otherwise you might end up causing yourself some problems. There's a Khajiit called Shrafad, I can't pronounce it, there's an S in there somewhere, but anyway he's in the Imperial City Talos district and that would be a good option, you can see here on the map where the district is. Or you can go and kill one of the inhabitants of the Bravil Skuma Den, and I'll show that on the map as well. 
these NPCs have no significance and it's not going to be a problem if you kill them. Another option is to kill a guard, like I did actually by mistake on a recent playthrough, but it's a thousand gold bounty if you do, which in the early game is really going to sting. So I wouldn't recommend doing it that way, like I did, by mistake. Once you've done the deed, you need to find a bed and rest. Uh, you can just go and book in at any inn and that'll do the job. When you wake up, you're going to be confronted by Lucien Lachance. He's going to give you the Blade of Woe and request that you murder a man called Rufio. It is worth noting, however, that you don't actually have to kill him with this blade. You can kill him with any weapon. Here, I just shoot him with the bow. Uh, actually, I missed my first shot at point blank range, which is pretty embarrassing. But there you go. I left that in. After you kill him, you just need to go to sleep again, and actually you can simply get a bed in the Inn of Ill Omen, which is where you've just killed Rufio, so you are sleeping at the scene of the crime like a truly remorseless killer. Upon waking, Lucian's going to appear again and welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. He's going to send you to Shayandel to the Dark Brotherhood HQ, where one of the first things you're going to get is some really nice light armour that's actually really great for sneaky assassin type builds. And that's pretty much it. Take these steps and you'll be a member of all three guilds as well as the Arena and the Dark Brotherhood. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like and subscribing and yeah, see you next time.